Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Um, yeah, I thought I would talk today about what makes an effective language teacher. Uh, and the reason I want to talk about it is because I, again, was on that listserv of language teachers and uh, one of the people asked uh, or made the comment that so many English teachers don't have a real good grasp of grammar and isn't this a pity? And they were all talking about how great grammar was and that, you know, you have ESL teachers who, who don't really aren't deep into their grammar. And I commented there, like, why does that matter? Uh, I'm sure the average English teacher speaks English at least as well as the average native speaker. And uh, if the learner is able to speak as well as the average native speaker, I think the learner is probably going to be quite happy. So why does it matter? And then I thought to myself, when I have been studying languages, uh, if I had a choice between speaking to someone who is a average person, a engineer, housewife, secretary, whatever, but who is pleasant and interesting versus someone who has four degrees in linguistics, who would I rather have as a teacher? I know I don't want the linguistics teacher. I don't want someone who's going to make a point of teaching me a bunch of rules. So, uh, yeah, you don't want someone who speaks their own language poorly, but a native speaker who speaks their own language quite well, but doesn't know any grammar rules to me makes an excellent language teacher. Um, I think a language teacher is a bit of an art. It's a, is a performer is a performer. It's like, a if you were running, a if you were picking people to play on your team, uh, in a sport, whatever that sport might be, you don't want someone who has, is, is, uh, you know, has read countless books on how to play soccer. Uh, you want someone who's just a good soccer player. Uh, and I think that uh, to be an effective teacher, uh, the most important thing is how well you're able to motivate other people to learn. It's your personality. First of all, in a class, and I, I can I admit that running a class is, must be a very difficult thing to do because you've got 20 individuals with varying degrees of interest in the subject, uh, and, and somehow you've got to make you've got to perform for 50 minutes or however long it is, and you've got to try to motivate those people to get interested in what they're doing. Uh, so I also think that. So therefore, that, that whatever they, they, you know, I had a discussion today with someone in the Canadian government trying to interest them in LINK. Of course, that was more or less of a futile effort because they have, this is for immigrant learning, they have their own system. It's called the Canadian Language Benchmarks. And, and if you aren't uh, somehow meshed with that system, then they have no interest in you because they feel it, in fact, I was told, it's very important for both the teachers and the learners to have these common frames of, a common frame of reference and common methodology and terminology and so forth. And I thought to myself, like, none of that matters at all. Uh, you know, a creative teacher will respond to a situation, whether it be with an individual or with a group of people in a class, will find a way to keep them interested, find things for them to do that, that they will find interesting. And uh, to try to straightjacket everybody into a, a certain fixed methodology, which is typically what they teach, or maybe they don't, but that was certainly what the, uh, this Canadian benchmarks seem to imply. And, and, and certainly it's the flavor that I get from this, uh, from this uh, listserv that I'm on, that somehow all the things that the language teachers or some of them at least, feel is an important part of their sort of uh, credibility and credentials. In other words, having taken certain courses, uh, knowing the grammar inside out and backwards and forwards. Uh, many of these things are probably not so important in terms of the success of the learner. Uh, far more important to me is the personality, uh, the resourcefulness of the teacher, the ability to empathize, uh, to motivate, to turn on. So it, it seems to me that it's, it's kind of strange that 
uh, unlike say being a doctor, you don't want to be operated on by someone who doesn't have the credentials. And you wouldn't want someone trying to fix your car who doesn't have the credentials because there are very specific uh, scientific uh, bits of knowledge that you must have. You must know how an engine works. But language teaching is not like that. Language teaching is not like surgery or fixing your car or building a bridge. Language teaching is about turning on someone's emotions, interests, enthusiasm, dealing with their sense of frustration, their lack of confidence, uh, somehow inspiring them to put the effort in to listen, to learn, to imitate, to connect with another language. And those skills, the skills required to achieve that are more the skills of a performer uh, than they are the skills of a technician.